What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. How's everybody doing this evening? Happy, uh, what is it? Tuesday? Tuesday the 21st. How's everybody doing? What's up, Andrew Bedard? We got Duane Baker first in the chat. Watchdog33. Uh, we got Miss Fireslane, Chris Barrow, Kevin Wilson, Charlie Boy, Princess, Philip Deem, Stephen Alexander, Chris Muncha, Aaron Kidda. And uh, Kevin Wilson, just saw him again. He wants a honka tutor. Uh, what's up, Jordan Kinney? Cliff B. Tony Martig is off to work. Have a good rest of your shift at work there, Tony. Uh, we got uh, Dave Clan, Pleasant View. Pleasant View, I checked Discord before I went live. I didn't see any messages. I was a good boy. I checked and make sh made sure there wasn't anything to, uh, to uh, download, so... <laughs> Uh, top of the evening tea. What's up, Hooves? How's you doing, Matthew Vanderwall? Bradley Simmons in the house. What's up, Bradley? Justin Nabaita. We got Redneck Dipper, 1998, the second. Ryan Haggett and Lucas Smith. Welcome, everybody. Uh, the new DLC, the Goville. That's how you pronounce it, Goville. So pretend the W is like a V, like Vanessa. Goville. But uh, that just came out today. And I think you get... I'll just show you. There's all kinds of different pieces of equipment you get. So if you go to your store and go to your um, downloaded stuff, wherever that is, right here, Go Veal Pack. So here's all the different pieces you get. Um, the, the, the exciting stuff is this, the Vario Master V140 and the F115. These things are pretty cool. So it looks like a baler. But the back end is like a bunker silo, like where you would dump silage. This thing is going to open up. We're going to use it tonight. And you dump uh, stuff you pick up with a forage wagon. So we're going to do a little of both. We're going to do some baling. We're going to forage some some grass and dump it directly in here. And uh, then it goes through the, the machine. It's like stationary. It just sits in the field and it makes bales. It's going to be interesting. So we got that. Uh, we have this one, which is just a little lighter than the other one. Not much difference. It's 14.8 ton and does 125 bales. And this one does make the 150s. So this can make just a little bigger size bale. Uh, then you have the baler itself. You have the 125s, 160 horsepower required. And then you have the smaller one that requires 120 horsepower. But either way, they both make uh, round bales. This one uh, makes the round bales as well, but it does not wrap it. This one wraps, this one doesn't. And then you got your little uh, pull behind wrappers, just like in the base game, just a different brand. So you got this one, which is very nice, and you can change your foil colors. <clears throat> Up, uh, no co sim pharma says hey finally able to catch you live what's up mate uh kevin flores is in the house budman 81 what's going on i posted something in discord what i did today accomplished my goal of catching fish oh jordan i'll have to check it out after the stream there sir uh, what's up will horton uh simon sampson in the house mouse is here uh ryan bolts is in the house as well i just realized i forgot you did forget pleasant and i remembered that's weird. Usually you remember and I forget. Uh, we, we switched turns today. All right, so this one does square bales too. This one only does round. So this one's a little smaller. And then we have this one that you attach to like the back or front of your tractor and it will wrap the bale. You pick up the bale, wrap it, drop it. So it's got a roller on it, all that good stuff. Uh, Three-point front loader. You can attach it to a telehandler. So that's pretty cool. And then two more pieces. This is something you can attach to the front or back of a tractor to pick up the square bales. Or a round. I bet you that thing would pick up a round bale too. And then here's for picking up round bales. So I got a few different setups tonight. Uh, starting off, we got the D21 pulling the uh, baler. And it's just going to pick up the grass, wrap it, and drop it. It does have the uh, flip-over attachment so our bales don't go rolling down the hill. 
So it's a little easier to manage. Get that. You can see that's activated. Lower the wheels. Get trucking in the D21. <laughs> Very nice. Put the HUD hider off so you can see bottom right. It fills up quick. We got a good yield on this grass field here, so we'll be shooting out bales real fast. <clears throat> there it goes in action. Bada bang, bada boom. Uh, how's the D21? It's always good. I love the D21. Uh, Frosty, I've been fishing a lot in the last weeks. My hobby, I enjoy it. It's a relaxing hobby, sir. All right, we got to put automatic drop on. Boop. So then it just flips it right on over. Isn't that nice? And you don't have to have that. That's that's optional if you want to flip your bale over, or if you want to drop it like normal. Uh, I kind of like flipping it over. That way I don't have to go chasing the bale. We have just enough horsepower to uh, pull this bad boy. She's struggling. I think she's struggling more on the swath itself. Like the, the thickness of the swath is bogging down the, uh, the baler. So it fills up super, super fast. Like we barely even went 10 feet and almost made another bale. <clears throat> yeah, this thing's struggling a little bit. I don't know. I think the D21's struggling a little bit there, Pleasant. I got the full horsies on it, too. <laughs> uh, what's up, Channing? How's it going? Jordan, Watchdog, Princess, Ian Oppenheim in the house. Polly Count Taz says hello. Lee Bennett says, hey, Frosty, making my sixth straight day being here. You're on a roll, brother. I'll be out with the 916 wrench to adjust the horsepower. It's, I think I have the wrong tractor for this. Which, which, you know what? I can fix that. I think we do have the wrong tractor. All right, time out. I'm going to show you something that's still exciting, chat. I have another Alice ready to work. We're just going to switch out a more powerful Alice real quick. All right, so here's all our new toys set up. Uh-oh. What do we have sitting up here? What do we have sitting up here? Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. Check out this beast. I had this set up for other things, but looks like we're going to have to swap it out. So this is the 8070. Uh, the most updated version of, well, almost. He didn't send me the most updated, but look at this beast. The old Alice ready to pick up some bales. <laughs> Thing looks so sweet. Been excited to try this out. Uh, what's up, princess? I'm doing good. Look at those spin out rims, this scooter. What's up, scooter? <clears throat> good evening, Dawn Stokes. What's going on there, sir? Earl McGraw says, what's up, Frosty? Miss hanging out, just been working a lot. How's the family? Doing good. Doing very nice, laddie. Uh, hey, Frosty. Hey, everyone. What's up, quadruple A? Oh, for goodness sake, get rid of those front fenders. Uh, well, I had an issue. When I put the bigger wheels on Pleasant, the tractor just kind of started moving away from me. So I, I, put, I had to put the little ones on. So that, there wasn't really a choice on that. All right. But before I un dis detach all the good stuff, let's at least pick up a few bales here. Get them off the field. Sit them over here to ferment. Look at that. Look at that. I kind of like the fenders. They kind of look cool. Uh, what's up, John McKinley? I love the square style tractors. What was for dinner? Duan's like, I don't care about the DLC. What did you have for dinner, Frosty? <laughs> You're so silly, Duan. Uh, what did I have? I had... Mo's. We had Mo's. We we got like a big uh, family box, family dinner box from Mo's. What is it? Mo's Southwest Grill or something? Is that what that place is called? It's pretty good. Not too bad. They forgot to put the darn soft shells in the box, so we just kind of had to 
make nachos out of everything. Uh, they're supposed to be orange fenders. Yeah, they, they wouldn't paint for me, buddy. They weren't orange. This wasn't orange. I tried to paint it, and it wouldn't change the color. It is what it is. I know it's not fully finished. It's still awesome. I'm happy with it the way it is. I can wait. No rush for me. You could say it's an aftermarket part that I got for uh, a good deal, the fenders. <laughs> Love Moe's. Welcome to Moe's. Uh, howdy, Frog. What's up, Austin Wall? Here, I'll show you guys. I don't want anybody crying about it too much. All right, let's fix it before everybody's panties get up in a bunch. All right, I don't want to make Scooter sad. So hopefully it doesn't go bouncing around like it was earlier. So yeah, you can put the bigger wheels on the front, which do look nice. And I imagine this isn't supposed to be gray either. That probably is supposed to uh, be black or something. But yeah, when I hit main color, oh, now it does it, of course. Today, it would not change, I swear to God. It would not change. All right. Well, let's see if it uh, fixes these. Yeah, these won't change color. At least I got that part to change. All right. At least I got that to change. All right, we'll go with the wides there since we're working out in the field. There you go. There we go. Oop, whipped out my hose a little too early. Hey, well, my hose. Ooh, a nice sound effect on the... Uh, on the door closing. I like that. All right, there. That's much better. How's that? Does that make you happier, Scooter? <laughs> Snazzy, good evening. What's up, Floyd Stutinger? Uh, I got an aftermarket wife, says Orville. Ouch. All right. Wesley Bowman, hello, hello. Shawnee's in here. Uh, man, we got all kinds of people. John McKinley, Austin Wall, Adam Groves, Dan Me, McDavid Entertainment. Um, who else? Who else? And if and Josh Stearman, just say Poto 3D printed the 3D printed those parts. I gotta fix something real quick. Oh, still saved it. I, I like the little fenders on the front. They didn't bother me at all. But yeah, this is a little beefier setup right here with the bigger wheels on front. All right, so who all got the DLC today? Who all's tried it out? And there's a lot more to it than what we're doing tonight. Um, you can pick up sugar beet pulp and make bales. You can pick up chaff from, like, uh, silage out in the fields. I just don't have any of those. I, I couldn't. None of my maps were set up ready for that crop. Uh, I never do sugar beets anyway. So... But I do want to test that out eventually on, a, on another stream in the future is uh, baling sugar beet pulp. Well, not baling it, foraging it, putting it into the stationary baler, and then, and then it makes it into bales. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. All right, is Scooter happy now, though? I just want to make sure Scooter's happy. Is he happy? I hope they gave you money to put those fenders on. Is Scooter happy now that I switched wheels? He was really getting, uh, really getting feisty. Let's see if we can clamp two of these at the same time. Whoop. Whoop. I put a weight on the back. Still struggling a little bit. I guess two bales is kind of heavy. Plus, the way I grabbed it's probably not the best. There we go. There we go. Let's check out the interior of this bad boy. We got all our little monitors. We got dials and speedometer. Finally, he's, he's updated this a lot since uh, since last time. It's looking very nice, very fresh and crispy. I got the year two season pass last month with your partner code, so I'm downloading it now. Nice. 
Yeah, if you got any questions, I can try to help, but it's pretty straightforward. It explains what it is pretty good. It's not, not too bad. And I'm not going to be picking up all these bales. I'm just doing this to mess around with the new attachments and stuff. Just to show you what it looks like. Alright, I think we'll just grab a couple more, get them out of here. And then we'll get this tractor hooked up to that baler. Because it's got a lot more power than the D21. Well, not a lot more, but more. Uh, configure the tractor with rear weights on the rims. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On it. On it right now. I'm getting pushed around tonight, chat. Woo! Alright, rear weights. There you go. That should make it a little more stable. Alright. There we go. Alright, how's that? A little better? <laughs> Made 250 TMR bales. Chase! All right, so you tested out the new DLC. Uh, let's see, I got the... I read that. Good evening, Logan Goddard. Hello. Front fenders on a two-wheel drive tractors remind me of a squatted pickup trucks. Yeah. I can't stand squatted pickup trucks. Those do look dumb. Those look dumb. I, I don't mind the fenders on this. I thought they looked kind of cool. Same as the, uh, the other Alice. It, it looks pretty cool with the... Uh, with the uh, front fender thingies on it, too. Is there a certain name for those type of front fenders? Because they're not normal. They're not like these type of fenders. What's up, N.W. Boja? <clears throat> Lovely, ain't she be... It is pretty. It is. And I, I had the Alice Chalmers uh, attachment from another Alice mod, and it, for, it fits on here, like, perfect. It looks like it's meant to be, so... All Alice. Very nice. Alright. I think that's good for uh, getting the bales out of here. Oh, we got one more sitting there. Get that out of the way. I, like, never use this bale attachment. Ever. It's nice to uh, mess with it. Usually don't use it. came out at six this morning well i wasn't up that early but when i woke up it was the the dlc was ready to fire up and and uh no no ish Ooh, didn't mean to do that that's fine yeah i didn't mean to uh or it worked fine on ashton corners i i heard some rumors that it might not work on certain maps or you might have some bad luck with it, but it seems to be working real good. Yo. This should pull the baler a little easier. Yeah, she looks really nice, pleasant. Very nice job, sir. I like it. Definitely be using this a lot. See if she does better than the D21. The darn swath is... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, Chad. I don't even think it's his tractors. Has anybody else been having some weird issues with these balers? Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's not going to work. I guess we'll uh, try another tractor. We're running out of tractors to try out. <laughs> What's up, Aaron Kidder? What's going on, brother? Uh, Wes Blade. What's up, Wes? Haven't seen your name in a while. Mr. Wes Blade in the house. All right, yeah, we're going to have to find something a little beefier to handle the baler, I think. Which is not a big deal. All right, what do I got out here? 
Should have another tractor out here somewhere, right? Let's see what's hiding in here. One with a higher, you need an EU tractor, one with a higher hitch point. That makes sense. On deer. The D21 was doing all right. I think it was just struggling going uphill there. And I got the fent, but that's that's for picking up grass. Yeah, let's switch over to picking up grass for a little bit. Uh, Cause I already got this set up and looking beautiful. So let's get rolling, eh? Got a nice fent combo. And I already got some strips set up to scoop up. And this is where we're gonna test out the stationary baler that works like a little mini bunker silo. So we're gonna pick up the grass and then dump it in the back of the stationary baler. It's gonna be interesting. First time trying it, so hopefully it works. <laughs> that turned on start scooping up some grass very nice it bogs down if there's a lot of yield that might be part of it too the yield is excellent so i mean i was making a bale like every 15 feet so what's up stacy uh, what's up, Frosting Chat? Eric Taylor. Hello, hello. Mr. Vanderford is popping in to say hi and bye. Hope everyone's having a great day. Well, enjoy your night at work. I imagine you're at work. Thank you for stopping in, Mr. Vanderford. All right, so we're just vacuuming some grass, as Red Acres would say. Doing a little vacuuming. Uh, some balers are set to pick up a certain amount of mass at the time, and if you get more, you'll go slower. Yes. But I was having trouble, like, the tractor was having trouble even pulling it going straight. Like, it was wiggling it all around. So, I wasn't concerned about the speed. I mean, have you ever seen me concerned about how slow I'm going? No. It was more about uh, the tractor kind of going bonkers on me. But I think that baler we were using does require like 160 horsepower. So we were pushing the limits for the uh, Alice. Like the Swiffer picker upper right there. He likes the Fent combo. We got any Fent fans in the chat? Oh, do -do 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 -do. Can you raise the hitch on the baler with mouse controls? Not that I know of. I can I can take a look at it, but I don't think so. It's made by giants, so I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I highly doubt it. But we can we can check in a little bit. <clears throat> uh, how was your day, Frost? Aaron Kidder, it was quite splendid. Hello, Mr. Matthew Bailey. What's up? Jason Schisler, good evening. All right, so already cleaned up that little mess. And we got 28,000 liters of grass in here. So we're gonna test out the uh, the new stationary baler. So here it is, I got it hooked up to a John Deere. And let's go set up just kind of out in the field for now, where we got space to maneuver. Excited to see this thing unfold here. Got a little beacon on the top for transport. Nice. All right, let's unfold this thing. This is intense. Like a transformer. <laughs> Check this thing out. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. That was cool. Uh, we're going to make 150. Turn on Baylor. Wow. 
Wow. That's intense. All right, so it does need to be hooked up to a tractor, which it is. And now we're going to pretty much back up and dump that grass right in there. Some fancy stuff going on up in there. All right. Back it up nice and pretty. And there's the unload symbol. That's cool. All right. So it is sending all that grass in there. How much does it take? Holy smokes. Wow. So it literally just took that whole trailer load almost. Now here's my question. Do I need to get this bale out of the way real quick? Or is it gonna, I bet you, you got, I, I, yeah, I bet we better have to get that out of there. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna probably cause some issues, huh? So you almost have to have a little assembly line of yourself. You gotta be on top of things. And I painted them different colors because the pink ones are 125 and these are 150s. That's just so I knew the difference in size. Yes, yes you do. All right, I better get moving then. <laughs> that thing's faster than I am. All righty. All right, rear weights and a weight on the back is just not getting it done. I need more weight on the back. Hang on. Oh man, I, I can't, I can't, I'm not fast enough. It's ready to dump and I'm in the way. There we go. <laughs> How about we just drop him right here so we can keep up. That thing's shooting him out fast. That's kind of cool. All right. Keeps you on your uh, tippy toes, though. Goodness. Oh, the baler's empty. All right, so a full trailer made one, two, three, four, five, five hundred fifty, uh, what is it, centimeters or something? can't talk right now. All right, let me see here. So that is 5,500, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. That made 27 and a half thousand liters of silage. Well, it will be silage once they uh, ferment on a, a full load of that. That's kind of cool. I like that. That was pretty cool. All right. Well, that's definitely the coolest thing so far is this machine. That's that's pretty intense. All right, so that's empty. Let's shut that off. And I just want to fold it up because it's cool to see. It's like a darn transformer. Look at that. That's so cool. I like it. Uh, I looked up one of those balers that is spot on, says Boyd Walsh. Uh, there's another mod for a generator, I think, that runs off diesel that you can actually hook up that, and you won't have to have a tractor hooked up to it. Oh, gotcha. Nice. If this baler works like stationary wrapper, then it will not drop another bale until you move the first one. Oh, I'll have to see. I should try that. Didn't even think of that. Yeah, we'll try that next time uh, we fire it up, which we will. 
I'm just trying to kind of test everything out. See how it all works. Let's detach this, hook up to the baler. So yeah, we're gonna have a, a silage party tonight. Hello all, sweet orange tractor. Isn't that nice? Orange tractors. I got a couple on here. Old Pleasant Valley Ranch dressing farms in the house. Uh, always kind enough to let me try out his beautiful mods he has. Alright. Oh yeah, and uh, let's see. Scooter was asking if we can... Nope, that's my doors, back window. It's letting me do it. Alright. So I can go down all the way, up all the way. Alright. That's nice to know. So maybe the, uh, maybe the D21 can handle this. I just see if it'll let me adjust the uh, rear end there. Uh, please open the F1 menu. There, okay. All right, I'm gonna see if we can adjust the back end with this hooked up to it. I uh, used your code to buy the, thank you, Rip Riley. I made a post today, I wasn't sure uh, for those that hadn't purchased the DLC. Yeah, if you uh, use my big rig, or I think it's Big Frosty is the code. And uh, did it give you a discount, Rip? Did it give you a 10% discount or no? All right, let me see if I can adjust it with this on there. But yes, we can adjust it. All right, so we'll mess with that. Uh, when we pick up more grass. But we need to cut more grass now. Because we've uh, taken care of everything so far. Alright, so let's uh, hop back in the Challenger. Cut some more grass. <clears throat> it will continue... What did he say? It will continue to dump the trailer if you are not in the tractor. What's up, Princess Harrington? Hello. <clears throat> Evening, Joshua Hoffman. Hello, hello. What's up, Deer332 Daisel? What's going on, Mike? I just used your code all... Thank you, Logan. Thank you so much. For those of you that used my code, thank you very much, guys. I do appreciate that. Uh, the more people that use my code when they buy DLCs or buy the game, uh, once I hit a certain threshold, that's how I'm in the future we will hopefully get access to early access. Um, that's that's how it works with Giants. You, you have to sell so much stuff for them before, I think. That's what I've been told. But uh, that's why you never see me get like early access to DLCs. I just, you gotta have like a certain amount of, um, what do you call it? Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, let's cut some grass. You got to make them a certain amount of profit before they give you early release or something. something. I don't know what the actual numbers are. I just know that it's it goes. That's how they operate. Something like that. Woo. Uh, hey, Frosty. What's up, Mark Utley? What's going on, Mike? Just cutting some grass. I thought that section of grass was going to take longer to, like, work, but we, we knocked it out, like, super, super fast. Very, very fast. Frosty, how's Miss Frosty and the kids? They're doing good, Jordan. They're doing good. They're probably all almost asleep right now. They go to bed early because they get up super early and 
you know, school tires them out. So yeah, they're probably already in bed. Uh, if you enjoyed Farm Sim today, thank a modder. Unless you're someone crazy that doesn't use mods. I don't know anybody that, like, doesn't use mods. But I know one thing. We only got 90 likes, but we got almost 200 people watching. What the heck, man? Hit that stinking like button, daddy. It ain't gonna hurt your fingers. I mean, it takes like two seconds. Just a little tap tap a -roozy. Come on, man. Don't be, be don't be shy. Don't be shy about it. Um, I don't play farm sim as much, or I'd buy the DLC. Oh, thanks, Joshua. It's it's a good one. I like it. I definitely think I'll be uh, using this. In the Angavin countryside, I would like to activate this on the uh, Tier 3 farm. Because we do have a lot of grass fields. So it would be nice uh, for all the guys to be able to use that equipment. Just for fun, you know? Mix up the way you do bailing. Now we can go straight. Got to get the grass cut so we can have fun with the uh, the mods. But yeah, I'm very interested. Has anybody messed with the uh, sugar beet pulp? I guess you can you can pick up sugar beet pulp and make bales out of it. Something like that. That sounds wild to me, but. Uh, I guess it's a thing these days. I didn't know you could do that. 1 a.m. for you. It is 9.06 p.m. in South Carolina. That header is getting an update, so it won't be able to cut grass anymore. Then I'm not updating it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If that's what the update is, then I will make sure I do not update it, Joe. Because this thing's a lifesaver. Love it. <clears throat> I play it like every day there, uh, Stacy. Or uh, Grayson. Sorry, Grayson. Yeah, I play this every day. 1 a.m. UK here. I meant 1 a.m. Gotcha. I wonder if there's one guy out there who is all hardcore about it and has never used a mod. Oh, I'm sure there is. Or there, some people are like, uh, I wouldn't say nervous, just, well, yeah, maybe a little nervous or scared to use mods because they just don't fully understand what a mod is, what it does. Like, they might think it'll break the game. You know, I remember back in, uh, Euro Truck Simulator back when mods, like the first time I ever messed with mods I remember being a little nervous I was like, what? What? What the heck's a mod? And is it gonna break my game? Because I, you know I was so far into the game and unlocked so much stuff, I was like a mod? It modification something that modifies my game am I gonna break my game? And then you read descriptions, how like some mods, if you don't use them correctly you can break the game and so for some people, it's a little sketchy when they hear the word mod. But yeah, I can't live without mods. I gotta have them. I gotta have my mods. Arm sim is not complete without it. <laughs> gotta have mods to make the game more interesting and realistic. Yeah, as I'm cutting the grass with a big old header. <laughs> But this is more of a stream saving type of mod here. Like, it'd take forever to cut all this grass a different way. Got this big wide width, just gets it done fast. Fishing since noon, nice Jordan. Nice, nice, nice. It's cut sugar beets, says Lucas. Cut sugar beets. I have to get a drink and M&M's on my way back from taking the trash to the dumpster. All right, Scooter. Don't trip. I want you to trip. It 
So we'll get this section cut, and then we'll get back to playing around with the goodies. Absolutely love mods. Same here, Logan. I only got a few. I don't use a whole lot of mods. That was the biggest lie I've told today, huh? I just don't feel like cutting this entire field. We're just kind of going in big sections to... Till I get sick of it. <laughs> we do have weeds to kill. We got... A a few fields that need weeds killed tonight, so it's not all gonna be just grass. But uh, a majority, a majority of the stream will be just having fun with the new DLC. A zero candy bar. I don't think I've ever had one. I've seen them, but I've never had one. A zero candy bar. I forget what's in those. Isn't it similar to like a? Like a Snickers, kind of. I, I can't remember. It's like a silver wrapper. Never had one. Something just didn't appeal to me when I looked at it. Like, no, I don't want that. Not April Fool's Day yet, Frosty says, Shawnee. Uh, not yet. It's close. Can't believe it's almost April already. What's up, Stevenson? How you feeling, brother? I think I drive Stevenson, uh, I think I drive him crazy. Like every day I say, I ask him in Discord, I, I message him, I'm like, how you feeling? He's probably thinking like, are you my mother or something? I just, I just want to make sure he's doing all right. It's not fun when your uh, friends are sick. Not fun. Only problem with that header is you can't hire an AI. Oh, really? I've never... Never tried to. That's interesting. You get things so you things get done so quick with this machine right here. Love it. It's nice. I mean, look at that. We just cut a pretty good chunk of land in what, like five, five, six minutes. Not, it didn't take long at all. All right, let's get this out of the way. And let's test out the D21 again, now that we can raise and lower this. I, I didn't know we could do that. So that should help with stability. Start back up at the top of the hill here. Similar to a payday, can't, oh, payday, okay. Yeah, paydays, yeah. I've had a payday. I'm not a huge fan of those either. Yeah. I like Nut Rageous. Those are pretty good. But my all time favorite candy bar is Whatchamacallit. Oh, I love a Whatchamacallit. All right, so I'll be kind of finicking around with the, uh, the attacher. Hopefully we can get this working smooth. Oh, yeah. That seems a lot better. Yep. Seems like it's doing fine now. Pleasant if you're here. It's fine. I just had to, do, to uh, adjust that a little bit. See. We had it low, I think. If you have it all the way up, it, it doesn't have any issues at all. So that's the trick to that. Oh, missed a spot. Scoop that up. Yeah, right. She fills up so quick, though. It's crazy. Look at that bottom right of the screen. Look how fast that fills up to make a bail. My goodness, laddie. I mean, that's that's not very far. <laughs> Quit the difference between 8 and 32. Wow. Quite the difference? Yes. 32 is a huge difference. Yes. To do some upgrades, Mr. Lewis. 
So once that door closes, you can start rolling again. You just don't want to get it too backed up. That, that yield is very, very, very impressive. Maybe nice. Got nice sound effects, too. Three Musketeers. That's my wife's favorite. Miss Frosty's favorite candy bar is Three Musketeers. All right, last time we struggled a little, a little bit going up the hill. I think she'll pull it off. That's beast. What a nice tractor. Mm. Twix. I like Twix. My son's favorite is Twix. My wife's favorite is Three Musketeers. My daughter's favorite. She's she just loves candy. She's not big on candy bars. She loves well. She'll eat candy bars, but she loves candy, like hard candy, sour stuff. She loves that. And then, like I said, I'm I'm a watch my call it guy. Yeah, she's doing good now, even uphill. I think it was all about the adjustment on the uh, attachment, that's all. Got it all squared away. Yeah, there's a lot of DLCs. I forget how many we're up to now. Since year one, I mean, we're in year two now, so it's, it's, we're just going to keep getting more this year. I'm excited for the new map. I can't wait to try out the, uh, the year two expansion map. That tractor looks good with the front diamond tread. D21 is my least favorite, but PVF did a great job. Uh, you got that right. Look, how, look at the detail, guys. Very nice. It's a good looking ride. There's just there's not enough Alice tractors. And to have a nice quality just a fancy looking one is it's it's awesome. And I sound like a broken record, but I really do appreciate him uh, letting me try it out before it goes public. It means a lot when people uh, let me try mods out. Not leaving until I find out. Oh, the repairs bill! I, I posted in the community tab on my channel. It's all good. We, uh, I popped, uh, when I woke up this morning, that was the first thing I did was head downstairs, uh, got everything out from underneath the kitchen sink. I turned the fuse off. Safety first. I turned the fuse off for the electric, disconnected, unscrewed the thing, tipped it sideways, the, the new garbage disposal. And then I, uh, all right, I think we're good now for bales. I'll leave this right here. And then I turned it sideways, used a screwdriver and a hammer. Bam! Popped the little cap in the discharge hose part on the disposal. And everything's good now. So thank you again, everybody, that were uh, kind enough to help out with that issue last night. We got it all squared away. Yep, that was it. That little cap needed replace, or not replace, it needed knocked out. <laughs> uh, dropped a like, what's up, pickaxe simulator gaming? I see you in the other streams there, sir. Nice to have you uh, stop by, appreciate it, man. All right. So yeah, we're just kind of doing a mix of grass work tonight. Now, as far as bales, um, transporting them, nothing came with the pack to transport, but it's a bale. You can do your auto bale trailers. That'll work. 
or if you want to manually load them, however you see fit. I'm going to have a crap load of bales by the time we're done, so I'm just going to auto pick them up with the, uh, the Ford, the pickup truck and trailer. That's how I'll be doing it. Right. What a beautiful fent. Thing's huge. It's a beast. Up, Chuck. Chuck in the house. So now you are a certified plumber. You may print out a certificate. No leaks either. I double checked everything, you know, before you like put everything back in the. Yeah, I, I, I did it right. It's legit. It turned out good. Miss Frosty likes it when those things go. Like when I take care of business like that. She likes that kind of stuff. Makes her like me more. It's like, ooh. Fix the garbage disposal, did you now? Okay, big boy. I'm like, I know, mama. I know, mama. I fixed it. So, yep. Definitely, definitely earned some brownie points today. <laughs> the DLC does not work with Maze Plus yet. Eh, I don't use Maze Plus. There's so many good maps that Maze Plus is not needed, so I, I don't even use Maze Plus. Um, but. I'm sure someone will make a fix for that, for those that do use uh, Ma Maze Plus. I'm going to get me a full trailer, chat. Once this thing's full, we're going to get our Transformer baler all set up and ready for some action. Yeah, yeah. Forgot to put some additive into the trailer. Hang up. Attention, Forge Wagon is almost full. Please keep in mind that when it's full, you can no longer pick up anything else. That's a nice mod. Uh, but did you earn any brownies? Well, she made brownies a few days ago, but I wouldn't mind a fresh batch. So we'll see. But no, not, not today anyway. <laughs> All right, we're just about full here. That's the uh, Forage Wagon Alert mod. It's it's really nice for multiplayer, but I have it activated on single player too. So, all right, here we go. It's time to get the uh, transformer unfolded again and get an assembly line going. Uh, we're gonna set this up. Yeah, right here's good. Yeah, we'll just leave it where it was last time. All right, check this out, chat. If you're just tuning in, this is the new GoVeal DLC that came out today from Giants. Watch this thing unfold. Oh, that's so cool. That's the that's the most fun part right there, unfolding it. <laughs> I think it's so crazy looking. All right, so it's all unfolded. Now we're gonna fire it up. Let's take a closer look at all this stuff. So that must be the, I don't know what the three means on that little monitor there. But uh, look, at, look at all this. Controls out the wazoo. So what we're gonna do is back up and dump all that stuff right into here. But I just kinda wanted to check out everything real quick. Got netting in there. I can see. Aloha, Joey Moriara. How have you been doing? I've been busy with work today. It's my only day off, really. Well, thanks for uh, tuning in on your only day off, sir. I appreciate that. Staying busy. Good paycheck, though. You'll get a big paycheck. What's up, Oregon Trees is in the house. Hello. Kevin Flores says, howdy, Bradley. Have you heard anything about when they are fixing Edgewater map? I have not. 
I don't know when that's happening. But I know they're working on uh, getting it all, yeah, updated to fix things. All right, here we go. Dump it like it's hot. So you dump it in here. It goes up. Look at that. Ooh, bye -bye. And then it goes up the belt. And then once it hits a fill point, it creates a bale. Now it's going to spit it out. And now it's going to wrap it. That's that's just that's intense. To me, that is crazy. All right, but we do want to keep the assembly line going. I want to see what happens when the other bale pops out. If it's going to... Yeah, let's just see what happens. Let's see if it automatically stops. Because this is in the way. Otherwise, it's just going to make a mess, right? All right, so, it, okay, it does wait. It knows that there's one sitting here, so it's not going to do anything till we get that out of the way. That's cool. Good stuff. All right, there you go. And now that we got it out of the way, the next one drops. That's cool. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna have like bales everywhere. <laughs> so all the blue bales are 150s and all the pink ones are 125s. Nice little assembly line, I like it. Oh. Oh. Didn't mean to do that though. So many bales. Got my wheel today. Played a little farm sim. Loved it. You already got it hooked up and playing and everything, huh? Nice. Nice. So what do you think of the G-Hub? It's horrible, isn't it? Or have you not messed with it yet? Yeah, the G-Hub's the only nightmare with uh, Logitech. Their uh, products are awesome. Not a big fan of the G-Hub. Thing is just a spitting them bales out, baby. <laughs> Very nice. Now that's a nice Alice. Isn't that nice? That is beautiful. It is beyond nice. It is gorgeous. Doing a good job. I, I just need to uh, put a little more weight on the rear end. A little more weight, and then it'll be perfect. Yep. Oh, and a bam, bam. Yeah. There we go. Alright, I think we ran out of uh, grass. So you want me to keep making them this way, chat? It's, it is kind of cool. I, I, would, I think we both agree that it's more exciting to use this machine tonight than it is the other one. Than, you know, just good old-fashioned bailing. So I think we'll go pick up some more grass and keep that machine up and running. Right. There you go. What would happen if you put an auto loader trailer there? I'd probably scoop them up. 
Probably. We are going to be grabbing auto load trailer here in a little bit once we're done with all this. But yeah, it probably would just do it all for you. See ya, princess. Uh, what's up, William Bone? Hello. I like that, says Oregon. I like that, too. It's like a machine out of a factory of some sorts. Yeah, it's like a stationary assembly line. And ooh, it's not cheap either. Look how much these bad boys are. That machine we're using right now in the DLC, $259,500. That's how much that thing costs. And if you add silage additive, that's another two grand. And then wrapper design is another two grand to have the turner. So yeah. That's your, once you add that, that's $263,000 just for that machine alone. Woo! Let a proxy. It's okay. What's up, Nicholas Sager? James Azine? What's up, Frosty in chat? What's up, Mike? Open your F1 while standing next to the... You can, oh, yeah, I meant to do that. Thank you for reminding me, Cody. Yeah, next load we fill up, I'll show you, chat. Yeah, I forgot to do that. I noticed it has, like, this big uh, automated visual on the F1 screen. So, yeah, we'll definitely uh, check it out. Getting a very lovely yield here. Uh, J7, just don't put the auto load too close to the baler. We'll take it out without wrapping it. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. That's why I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait till I'm done with the job and then drive around and pick them all up. Oop. Lower it. I thought you had to, oh you don't, wait Tony you're not working I thought you had to go to work or something you're still here chatting you're not chatting while you're driving are you bad boy I bet it's stupid expensive in real life 260 grand bambooski 260k One second, chat. I gotta fix something on my screen. One second. Bam, bam. Everything got highlighted by accident. All right, there we go. Bro, and that's the rest of that grass. And that will be plenty of, uh, what do you think? You think that's enough grass for tonight? Or should we keep going further into the field? There's, there's tons of grass. I'll let you guys decide. Otherwise, we can go kill some weeds after we uh, finish this final load here. Or we can keep uh, messing around with the grass. It, it doesn't matter to me. Trying to clean up my field so it's nice and pretty. Keep going, says Robbie. Ooh, mama, daddy, my little scooper. Yeah, that's right. Odo, wait till you see this uh, transformer baler machine. This thing's wacky looking. Yeah, we've been cutting some grass. All right, all right, all right, all right. There it is, Poto. This thing is crazy. I love it. Uh, we'll fold it up here so you can see it do its little transformer thing. All right, let's back in. We got about 31,000 liters of grass. This thing dropped in here. F1 menu is up. We get close to... Oh, there's the machine. Stand right here. So there's the uh, 
little screen he was talking about. It's showing you the amount going in the first belt. And then it's going up the next conveyor, spinning the bale until it hits 5,500 liters, I think. Once it hits 5,500, it's gonna move over to the final section where it gets wrapped. And there it goes. It shows it spinning on the little monitor on, on the left, top left there. That's cool. Ah, that's nice. I like that. That is too cool. All right, now we got to get these out of the way so the machine can keep doing its thing. And I like how the trailer continues to fill without me having to be in the tractor. Like, I'm not in the fent, but it's still... That, that's cool. I didn't think it would let you do that. That's that's nice. So it automatically just unloads when it needs to. Very nice little add-on there. What in the Frostimus Prime is that? Wait till you see that thing roll up, buddy. And the cool thing is you can put different stuff in there. It doesn't have to be grass. It can be uh, loose hay, loose straw. You can make straw bales, hay bales, silage bales. Um, I, I guess you can put uh, sugar beet cut. Is that what somebody said? So you can put sugar beet cut into this and make sugar beet cut bales. That is wild. Let me look at that real quick. Yeah, look at the products here. That little symbol right there, that's sugar beet cut. So you can make forage. So you can make forage. Can you make, you can make an actual TMR bale, I think. No. Let me see. This baler has a bunker at the back, which can be filled up. The bale wrapper wraps specific goods automatically. I think that's just the forage symbol. You can put T TMR. Okay, I thought so. I thought you could. Yeah. So you could make a TMR bale that's ready, like TMR. So you just have a bunch of TMR bales laying around on your farm and you just shove them into a mixer and shoot them out. Or if you have a certain pen that you just drop the bale. That, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Yes, I like this DLC. This will be fun. I just like how it's more than one thing that you can do with it. You can do multiple things with it. Pretty cute. That is that is a that is a setup right there. Look at that. <laughs> and it has been knocking bales out like crazy. Running out of operating space. Uh, does it make you want to cut grass and make bales? Yes, you can make TMR and put it in there. Nice, nice, nice. TMR bales. That's so cool. Wondering what is the best brand of tractor I've been using case. Not satisfied with, especially when I go in reverse. Really? I I, I like them all. I, to me, it doesn't matter. But uh, everybody's got their opinions on tractor brands. Yeah. Are you using a modded case or just a case in the in the base game? Because I know our Lamborghini on the 24/7 server that that thing only reverses at three miles an hour, or four mile an hour. Just if it's modded, that could be why it's slow in reverse. Go. 
See, that's why I don't like using these. I'm not a big fan of the round uh, grappler. This don't work that great. That thing empty yet? Jace. Ugh. There you go. Now that's cool. Have it parked under the TMR factory chute and make the bales that way. There you go. It's a masterpiece. What's up, Farmer Taz? I haven't seen you in a while. You must be a busy man, sir. Hope, hope life's treating you well. Yeah, it's almost like the uh, round baler attachments are like made out of rubber bands. <laughs> the way they just stretch and do all kinds of weird stuff. Oh. I think everything's pretty much picked up except the bales out in the field, which we're going to switch over to a different machine. All right, Poto and everybody else, watch how this uh, transformer folds up. It's pretty cool. This out of the way. Go. I made a crap load of bales. All right, first we'll turn it off. And now we'll fold it up. That is a wacky machine. I like it. So there you go, chat. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to put up a little poll. Are we? I'm going to put up a poll if you guys want me to keep cutting grass or go kill some weeds. So keep using... BLC equipment or hill weeds. Stop, Jake or Pete. All right. I'll put that up for a little bit while I, uh, go maneuver some bales with the other tractor. I got an international hooked up to a rear attachment. It's it's supposed to be for square bales. But uh I think it'll pick up a round one. I mean all it does is go side to side. I feel like we can just squeeze up on some bales, you know what I'm saying? Pick them up the right way. Uh, Frosty Flakes, I see you're supporting Old Pleasant. Well, yeah. How's Goofy doing today, you jackwhacker? Get that lowered. Yeah, I feel like this will work just fine. Squeeze it. Mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for Goofy Goose and me. There you go. Good enough to get it off the field, huh? But yeah, if you wanted, you'd use that. It's made for square bales, to pick up square bales. Seems to do just fine picking up these, though. Squeeze it. Even lets you lean it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So that's one of the other attachments that comes with the DLC. <clears throat> What do you think? What do you think? We need the DLC on Tier 3 Farm where we can wrap all the TMR. All the, uh, in the bunker. 
I, I do want to add it to the server. So all tier three members, be aware that I, I do want to probably add this uh, DLC, which I, I already told everybody I wanted to do that. Everybody was pretty much on board because it will be cool to use. What's up, Grant Little John? Uh, what's up, Chris Lynch? What's going on there, brother? I'd love to see you make TMR bales too. Well, that's the problem. I don't have any more. Remember last week? Uh, we don't have any silage. And those fermenters only take chaff. Unless you know how to fix them, which I haven't got around to messing with. So we don't have any... I don't have the stuff to make TMR on this map. And I totally forgot you can you can put TMR into that darn machine. That's so cool. Let's try a first person view. Lower it. Squeeze it. And lift it. How do you reload the baler with wrap, the biggest one on the DLC? How do you reload it with wrap? Does it run out of wrap? I didn't even know it ran out of wrap. Uh, yeah, I don't know. See? I didn't know it ran out of wrap. Um, I don't know. I didn't see anything pop up for uh, running out of rap. You didn't say you were on board? Ah, dang it. Guess we can't do it now. Our slain's not on board. Alright, so we picked up enough with that. I just wanted to show you how that worked. That's how it works. I think for the rest of these, 78% uh, of you say DL. Okay, so that that was an easy vote. Uh, we'll keep the DLC going then. Keep cutting some grass. Maybe we'll cut cut some uh, weeds later. I will check tomorrow then. I just go to the local supply dealer and buy some wrap. It auto loads itself. That's what I thought, Outlaw. Maybe he was just asking because he wasn't. He he was just curious. I think he just was asking. The way I read it was like he ran out and wanted to know how to refill. I was like, uh oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's get some more grass cut. How many likes are we up to, chat? We broke a hundred. We got two hundred twenty-two viewers in here tonight. Has everybody hit subscribe? We broke 6,000 subscribers last week and uh, already steamrolling towards, uh, you know, growing even bigger. So can't thank everybody enough for hanging out each night and uh, visiting my show. So if you're not subscribed, might as well go ahead and smack it, rat. I would like GPS. I think I'm going to invest in GPS for this. Yeah, GPS. That way we can get some nice straight cuts going here. Go. There, lowered. Graze control. Create ourselves a nice straight line, hopefully. There we go. Not quite a straight line, but it will be straight after this. <laughs> All right, there we go. No, that's not where I wanted it to be. Dang it. Come on. All 
Alright, so... We'll just cut that far down. That is not good. Uh, do you, you forgot to take the plates off? I want plates. See? I want that there. That's to remind you that this is mine, not yours. It's mine. Big Frosty. Yeah, that's right. I told Goofy, huh? I was doing better without uh, guidance steering. Yeah, this isn't. This looks horrible. <laughs> uh, that looked like a forklift clapper. I will check tomorrow then. Yeah, check tomorrow. Check tomorrow. Every map I play, I just put the bale in with some cows, and it takes it. You're a bad boy. We're a bad, bad boy. horrible. I don't care about the miss spots, though. Control S. Auto whip. Let's do... It's an even 30-31. Uh, I will have two headers, one for grass and one for crop swath. Oh, you know, nice. 168? Nice. Not bad, not bad. All right. Let's try this again. Let's get our little lines on here. We're going to get this. We're going to get this right eventually. I want it to be nice and straight. Got a little overlap now, so it shouldn't leave any. Much better. All right, we're good. We got her fixed. Bam, 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 bam. we go. Not bad. Get the job done, I suppose. <clears throat> so 78% wanted to stick to the DLC. 21% want to kill weeds. So by far, you guys want more of the, uh, the goving pack. So we will keep working on the bales. You know what? We can mix it up, though. Now that we've made a bunch of round bales, we can return that stuff and do the uh, square bales. It does let you make the square bales, too. We'll mix it up a little bit. Just makes the GPS go straight. It's that simple. Nope. Otherwise, it wouldn't have done that. It, it messed up. Some some mods, it messes up the width when you do auto width. So you got to go in and kind of tweak it a little bit. That's what it was doing. That's why it was missing little patches. So if that ever happens, you just go in and reset it. Or take a little of the... Take a little width down. That way it's over... It's compensating for uh, the little areas you're missing. Don't listen to Goofy. He, do, he, he doesn't know half half of what he's talking about. He don't know. So just be careful listening to that guy. Or that kid. Something tells me he's like 10 or 11. I don't know. Can you make hot dog balls? Nope. Not today. 
Yeah, I've been meaning to ask how old you are, but then you just lie to me. But I think you're like 11 or 12. Frosty is at it again. What's up, Ryan Moretz? What's up, buddy? See? He's doing it again. All jacked up. It's all good. It keeps, like, going left and right. Like, it doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know if it's, like, the slope in the field that's making it do weird stuff. I don't know. It's missing pieces of grass, and, yeah, there we go again. Uh, Frosty, how do you lock the DLC so far? Uh, that bail machine was awesome. Can a laptop be repaired if you spill something on it? Hey, why? It depends how quick you clean cleaned it up. Yeah, however quick you cleaned it up there, sir. But yeah, not, not good for it. Definitely not good. I don't use the GPS mod. I use VCA. What's up, J Drum Master? I got Pleasant's Alice. Suzette. As much as you asked him for it. See, you're one of those beggars. I've noticed that. See, I don't beg for stuff. If, if someone wants to let me try it, I'll, I'll say yes if it's something I want to try. But I ain't going to keep begging him for it. I noticed you asked him like a million times. So he probably, believe, he probably is finally like, the only way to make this guy leave me alone is to send him the mod. So that's probably why I just finally gave in and gave it to you. GPS is drunk tonight. I think it's just... I don't know. I don't know what it is. Operator error. But I'll get as straight as I can. I mean, that's pretty, pretty stinking straight. I'll get lined up there. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Kevin, for the $5 super chat, brother. The field, you're right, the field is not straight. It's bumpy and wiggly and it's got slope going. It's a left to right slope. It's rough, man. See, look at that. That shouldn't be like that. It's just, it's, it's just doing its own thing. And a mind of its own. Right. We only got maybe two swipes left, and then we'll have a, this big section to work with on bales. You let me try it. I know. I know. That's that's. I know. I was joking with you. Uh, how you fix that? Me all, send me all your mods, says Stevie to Scooter. <laughs> Scooter, did you finally update your darn itch.io, huh? You got your itch.io all fired up and all your mods on it yet? You got to get your mailboxes on there. You got you to gotta get a, everything. Everything you've made, you got to get up on there. So it's easy for everybody to find. Yeah, it like wants to go over to the left and back to the right. I guess it's, it's, I don't know what it's doing. Oh, messed up. Walk and go and sit in the corner and cry if mods I want don't get released. I know, I know. I feel you. You know what? Turning that off. I turned guidance steering off. I can do better than that. Horrible. But you can see that is not straight. It's like a final line showing you it's not a straight field at all.
I think it might be because the steering in the rear is so light. Might be. Making it shake around, do a little dance. Well, Kevin, maybe you should get in here and get all those missed spots. What do you think of that? All right, that, that's good enough. Bada bing, bada bo. That'll keep us busy for a little while. I'm gonna have to move all the equipment down this way. All right, so first things first, we are gonna return the round bale. I think we've had enough fun with the round baler. So we did lease it. Oh no, I didn't lease it, I bought it. Now uh, we're gonna sell it then. All right, so we sold that. And I'll keep this hooked up so we can just use it on a square bale just to test it out. <clears throat> uh, we won't be using this guy a whole lot now that we're switching over to square bales. So yeah, I'm just gonna... Let's see here. Let's get... So there's different things we can do here. We got our square baler. So I'm gonna have to get, okay. So this will do up to 150, 180 on squares. I wanna do the square. Or we got this guy here. He does rounds, though. So, yeah, we'll have to stick to round. We'd have to use a different square. It, it doesn't come with a square baler. You'd have to use your own square baler. So, we'll do round, but... We'll just use a different one. We'll use this guy here. We used him. Now we're going to use him. This is the smaller round one, that's all. All right. So. That, we'll lease it. I don't want to keep it. All right. My, my goal is to use every piece of equipment tonight, at least once out of the DLC. So this is the uh, round baler. It's a little smaller, requires less horsepower. All right, we'll make sure this is decent height. Does have a beacon for transporting. Depends on what you spill on it. So, yeah, it does. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Frosty. I'm looking forward to joining you next week. I heard, Ian. Very nice. The more farmers, the merrier, right? Be right back. All right, Kevin. Got to take the trash out. I want to download the Batwing mowers from Scooter, but can never find them. That, you got to take that up with Scooter. Yeah, you got to take that up with him. I told him. Got to get, got to get your darn website updated. Mm -mm -mm. Automatic drop, and I bet you this thing fills up quick. And off we go. Seems to be picking up pretty easily. Oh. So the first baler we used tonight, the uh, pull behind, that wrapped it for you. This one just bales. So you could use this for hay, straw, grass, whatever you want. Yep. 
go. Any new trucks with the DLC? No. Nah. The DLC is all this brand right here. That they're all about bailing equipment, bailing technology. Now I'm not going to use this on all that. I'm going to mix it up. So we'll do a couple swipes with this. And then I do want to make a couple uh, square bales. We'll just go grab our square baler from the garage. Because there's like tractor attachments that'll do the wrapping too. I, I want to test it all out. Small bales. There's only 3,500 liter bales. Yuck. Tiny. Right. Yeah, that worked good. Yeah, 3,500 liters. Not that great. All right, so now I want to get the tractor attachment. We'll use the Alice over here. So this will wrap the round bales. And support roller. Well, sure. It's nice to have a little support, you know. Uh, foil color, 125. So I'm trying to remember what color I did 125s. I think they were all blue. There we go. I'm going to need to get a better weight. Let's get a heavier weight on the rear end of my Alice. That'll, that'll get the job done. There we go. Get rid of this little one. Yeah. Those baby bales look like bales you would have when there isn't enough to finish baling. <laughs> They're pretty small, aren't they? to our new weight. Oh yeah, a little more stability. Uh, the bale shed holds TMR bales too, says Bradley. Oh, very nice. Uh, what's up, Brian Shayok? How are you? Scooter hasn't released them yet. Life got in the way, and I've been playing catch up ever since. Well, I'm gonna let Scooter know he needs to get that all updated. So if you see him, let him know. It's it's enough excuses. Time to get it finished. All right. He needs to get his website done. All right, there we go. So that little roller on the bottom is so you can like drive along the ground, and it'll it'll just roll. Look at that. Cool. That fancy. I haven't alliced anybody out too much tonight, have I? 125 bales are pink. Oh, geez. 3,500 liter. Yeah, you're right. And I leased it, didn't I? Ah, oh well. Yep, you're right. You are correct. All right, so I imagine we got to unfold. Turn on automatic drop. That should be it. I like the little beeper. The beep. 
Very nice. Same guy. I was just being funny. Frosty, 125. Yeah, I, I mixed. I, I had two color choices, and of course I picked the wrong one. Yes, yeah, so I did. All right, that's cool. So we'll do these uh, bales laying down here with this attachment. That's cool. Love the sound effects. You can never have too many Alice's. That's right. Frosty, could you buy some loose TMR and bail a few, maybe? Buy some loose TMR? Oh, oh, I know what I could do. I have an idea. Yes, I could do something similar to that. Yes. Yeah, we'll make some. Uh, we'll make a TMR bail to just to see what it looks like. It will require a little bit of cheating, but that's all right. It's a special occasion. Very nice. Very cool. What do you all think about the DLC? Not too shabby, huh? Uh, let's see. Two people that run the account. Eh? Any new trucks with the... No. Depends on what you spill on it. What I feel like Giants is stupid. The round baler looks like a square. Oh, the uh, bigger one. The one that wraps. That's how the, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot of them look like that. But yeah, you're right. It does make, it makes you think that it would make a square bale, but yeah. All right. So now we shall experiment with other toys that folded up. I like that. But we're going to send it back. See ya. All right, return that. All right, let's... Uh, here's what I'm thinking. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we got TMR. I'm not going to use all of this, but... This, of course, is for testing purposes only. Uh, unload here. I guess we could do the whole thing. What the heck? It'll be fun. All right, so there's TMR. We got TMR laying on the field right now. Now we're gonna bail some TMR. We're gonna make a TMR bail. So, I guess we should be able to use any type of baler that, you know, Let's use this one here. Or, I don't know if it's going to let us do it this way. We might have to dump it in the robot. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's empty this. There you go. You did 125 in pink and one... F I know, Lucas. I, I can't keep track of two colors. That's too much to remember. I have my laptop fixed, and I'm ready to become a level three Jack Wagner, so I can help you on the form, Frousty. Earl would be glad to have you, Daddy. Be glad to have you. So this, mm, I know how we can find out if it's gonna work. So Baylor, 
Straw, grass, or hay. Yeah, it ain't gonna work. We'll have to uh, put it in the robot. Yep, I messed up. But let's just see what happens. Yeah, it's not picking that up. All right, so we need to pick that back up. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I dropped it. All right, so yeah, we need to just scoop that back up and then unload it into the robot. <laughs> the big old transformer wagon. Why didn't you put it? Because I messed up, Watchdog. All right, that's why. <laughs> I screwed up. Won't be the first time, won't be the last. All right, let's uh, reverse what we did here. <laughs> I'll pick that up. You turd ball. Oh, okay, it does. I thought I wasn't going to do it for a minute. The hefty pile. <laughs> DMR go. I know, Scooter. Chase! I just want to see if anybody noticed. All right, we're all full. <laughs> You're right. Ah, oh, this will be fun. TMR bales. They're gonna look like uh, chocolate bales. All right, the time to get the uh, transformer. Activated. Set up shop right out in the middle of the field here. wanted to test to see if the chat was put yes i wanted to make sure everybody was paying attention mission accomplished all right fire it up and dump tmr in there So I imagine it doesn't wrap it. That doesn't look like no TMR fail to me. Oh, maybe it had some grass in there from last time. Okay, okay, okay. That's probably what that means. All right, let's see if the next one's a TMR bale. I forgot we had leftover grass in there. Uh, wouldn't be easier to use a regular baler. It doesn't let you. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it's not doing it because this needs out of the way. I'm just going to move it real quick. What's going on here? It's got product in there. Turn off automatic drop. Change, oh, change banner. Turn off Baylor. Fully full. It says it's full, but uh, I don't know. What's up, uh, Cameron LaFrance? Hello. Dan Patterson, what's up? What's up, Fozzy Gaming? What's going on there, laddie? It is so advanced it separated the three ingredients and bailed them. It, it uh, didn't bail it, though. It's just all in there. It's not good. All right, we're going to shut her down for a minute. Maybe she got overheated. 
Alright, restart. Turn off the other. Unload the bale that is in there. Huh? Unload the bale that's in there? No bale in there. What you talking about? Fully fold baler. Turn off. I don't. There, there's nothing to unload. You have 12 of. Oh gosh. That's why. Ah, 12. Let's empty that. There we go. That should fix it. Baylor Forage. Yeah, that thing, that thing does not want to disappear, does it? Well, that's unfortunate. You have to dump it in the other one. What? What are you guys talking about? Folding is not allowed with this tool. You gotta dump what in the other one? I can't dump anything in the other one. It doesn't let you. Turn on baler. Old baler. Turn. It doesn't let you do that. Yeah, it won't let me do that. Storing the TMR in a silo seems much easier. Try easy dev. I don't have that. I don't have that activated where I can do that. What's up, Chase Church? Day one, Frosty broke the equipment. Day two, deactivate. No, I, I love this stuff, but uh, I messed it up. I didn't even think about the mixing. So there you go. There's something for everybody that got the DLC. Keep that in mind. Make sure your machine is empty before you put a different type of material in there, or this will happen. Kmart baler. <laughs> Kmart baler. It's just weird how I'm emptying it, and it won't empty it. Well, that didn't help, because I got the stinking tractor sitting right there. Um, I'm trying. I got, I got to figure out how to get that 12 liters to disappear. Doesn't look like it's going to happen unless I lease a whole nother baler, which is kind of dumb, but looks like that's what we're going to have to do. That's dumb. won't even let you fill that section interest yeah so yeah we we literally have to get rid of it <clears throat> all right so we'll just lease another one and no not to do that ever again can't mix you got to make sure it's empty that's weird though you got how, how you ever gonna reset the baler ah yeah i could have done that too that's too much for me to think about all in at one go. Um, so we'll go with this one again. And we'll just do white. 
with Bale and Turner. And lease. How's that ever going to be empty, though? Other than resetting it. A little late on the reset. I had already returned it. Rest it. Kevin wants to rest. He wants me to rest it. I did. I, I returned it. I let it rest. I got a brand new one. <laughs> All right. Dang it. Let's get this thing unfolded and try this again. Shocker, this made it through Giants testing. <laughs> yeah, so there's no way to... That's going to make some people mad. I bet they'll fix it, though, right? If someone reports it. I wonder if anybody's noticed that that's a problem. Um, let's get this fired up. And we'll make 150s. All right, so it's clean on both sections. I'm going to fill this with TMR. Go. And let's try this again, why don't we, eh? Uh, there. All right, TMR's going in. And it should go straight through the system and pop out the back here. Okay, somebody said it makes TMR. I think you guys are wrong. I think it's forage. I don't think it does. No, I, I, I don't think it does TMR bales. Who has proof that it made TMR bales? Forage, I can see, where it mixes, like, uh, you know, forage. But I don't think it's going to do this. Because it ain't making no bales, chat. Nope. The baler's on. Everything's running. And it will not make a bale. It won't move. And it's saying 12 liters again. Something's messed up. Look at that 12 liters in the middle section again. What the heck's that all about? Something's broken. Something's definitely broken. That, that pesky 12 liters from the last one came back out of nowhere when there was, you know. That's weird. It's kind of scary what that means I don't think it works with TMR I did ask see who, who the heck said TMR works I ought to smack you in the head all right let's uh, fill this with forage let's do like uh, chaff I know chaff will work so say we were out in a cornfield. Here's chaff. That means I gotta empty this somehow. Or reset. Right. First, let's uh, try emptying it. All right, it's empty. Except for that 12 liters of whatever it is. All right, we got it fired up. Let's back back up and put some chaff. Which could be from, like, sorghum, foraging sorghum, or corn, or any crop that you would forage in the game. All right, so chaff going in. Filling that up, chaff. And it's whatever that 12 liters, whatever. Whatever that 12 liters is. We should have reset, I guess. That's dumb. 
That 12 liters is ridiculous. I think you can only wrap TMR bales. No. We just tried that. We just put TMR in there and it will not wrap it. But yeah, that didn't work. This isn't going well, huh? All right, let's reset. Strike two, or is that strike three already? <laughs> All right, we're sitting over here. And the machine's not even showing up. It's not even showing up on the map, guys. The baler is not even, sh nothing from the DLC is showing up. That's another bug. You can't reset you can't reset the new equipment, chat. Am I am, am I losing it or what's going on here? Why why? Filters. Tray tools. Yeah, tools are that's weird. Is it because it's leased? Did you call my global IT? This seems to be going as well as when I call them. <laughs> I'll change the size. I don't know. Try that, I guess. So I changed it to 125. Nope. Still not making a bail. It's on. Still not doing it. So size doesn't matter. Uh, you can't reset the equipment unless... Yeah. The bailers are not showing up on uh, reset screen. This is, this little tool showed up. But that bailer, that bailer did not show up. It didn't work, Steven. I just changed the bail size. I'll turn it on and off again. Nope, still not working. But thank you for the five pounds. I do appreciate that. Is it unhooked? I had to unhook to see it on the map. Oh, that's stupid. You shouldn't have to do that. But yeah, that might be what it is. All right, we're unhooked. And there it is. Is that how it's been forever on Farm Sim? Really? You have to be detached from it? All right, we'll reset. I'm going to go stand over next to this thing and see if it has 12 liters of something in it. <laughs> All right, there's not. Not at the moment. Maybe that uh, I don't I don't reset stuff much, so I don't really know. I barely ever reset stuff unless guys on the 24/7 uh, server flip over in a ditch or catapult their equipment off the map. That's like the only time I ever reset anything. Reset. Unfold. <laughs> Do you need to try a more powerful tractor? No. It's got plenty. Yeah, this has well over 160 horsepower. Yeah. Plus, it was making bales already. We've been using it all night with the same tractor. Yeah, something's going on. All right, it says zero liters, zero, zero, zero. There's nothing in there, zero, zero. All right, let's dump some chaff. We got some chaff in here. All right, the chaff is unloaded. Some good old chaff. We got 20,000 liters on the first belt. I'm getting ready to activate. On your mark, get, and it's set to 125. And it did it again. It's broken. Something's broken. It put 12 liters of something into the next section, 
and it will not make a stinking bail, chat. I, I thought you were able to do chaff. That's what it says. When you hover over it, look at this. Chaff. That's the chaff symbol right there. Chaff. You did TMR, says James. Oh, well, it's not working for me. Yes, says Jameson. Sorry I joined you because you seem to be bringing you back. What's up, Elizabeth Sturdy? How are you? But yeah. It just uh, keeps throwing 12 liters of something random. I don't know if it's throwing... I don't, I don't know. So that's a failed experiment on my end anyway. Couldn't tell you why it's doing that. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, T I, I see the TMR. I see it there. I believe you guys, but it ain't it's not doing it, so either it could be a number of things. It could be Ashton Corners. That's the only thing I could think it might be. <laughs> Call it AAA. What kind of chaff are you loading? It's chaff. There's only one chaff. It's chaff. When you use the uh, universal fill tool, it's yeah, you just fill it with chaff. That could be sorghum, corn. It's just chaff. Um. Let's test out straw, just to see. This is getting silly. Turn baler off. That's zero. Yeah, that 12 liters is... I think that whatever that 12 liter crap is, that's what's breaking it. Is it corn? That could be the problem. Good looking equipment you got there. What's up, Fant Farmer? Start smacking because I did 250. Try buying it, not leasing it. Nah, I don't want nothing to do with it. You're such full of crap, Kevin. Yes, he is. Uh, it could be that you are hooked up to John Deere. That's probably it. Have you tried running TMR through it? Yes, and it didn't work. If it didn't take TMR, you wouldn't get a dumb trigger. I know. I, I, hey, I know what you're saying. I, I, I agree with everybody. It's just something's broken. It's putting 12 liters of something stupid in the middle, and it won't do anything. And when I try to empty that little... It says chaff. It says it's got 12 liters. Which storage filling unit do you want to fill? And see, it says 12 chaff. I just don't get it. Don't get it. Don't know. Sugar beet cut. I just filled it with sugar beet cut. accepts that. It just won't make the stinking bail, man. I don't know what's going on. That sucks. I was so excited. silage additive in that. Maybe. It won't let me put anything in there. Yeah, it won't let me do anything. That middle section is like untouchable. It won't let me put anything in it, take anything out of it. Bale size doesn't matter. 
Man, that sucks. Put grass back in it and see if it clears it out. I think we broke it. Yeah, I think we broke it. That sucks. All right. Yeah, I think we broke it. Something with that 12 liters stuff. Everything was going fine with just grass. But... How about we, uh, I'm, hmm. yeah, let's, I guess we'll save the game. And then we'll go back to the menu. We'll do a, a restart. Oh, now it's we. <laughs> That's right. Does it need to take an X-Lax to clear the blockage? This is why I wait, says Everett Uzel. Almost 200 likes. Nice work, everyone. Thank you, Fent. Thank you very much. It's because I was driving a Fent, I bet. When you add silage additive, it makes extra bales. Maybe it's that. I, it was making grass bales without additive. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. All right, but what we're going to do is just go back into the map. It takes a minute to load. On that last menu, it looked like it needed a repair on it. Yeah, but it's not going to keep it. I mean, we literally just got the thing. Reload map. That's what I'm going to try. That's all I can think of. Uh -huh. And I, I want to do the TMR. So we're going to reload the map. First thing we're going to try is TMR. Uh, loading it up with TMR. Does the trailer need to be on more of a level ground? Oh, Dan, you're silly. Do you sell, then rebuy the machines as Joshua? I've been leasing it. And that shouldn't matter either. Leasing is part of the game. It didn't have number three on the side of the machine, says Earl. How many mods you got on this map? I don't even know. A lot. <laughs> Why am I talking so slow? Oh gosh, Elizabeth. Do you, did you accidentally put the time, like too slow when you're watching me? Is it going like Elizabeth Stardium? Okay. It's loaded. <laughs> I just put TMR in it and it came out. <laughs> it may be your power tool mod. You better watch your mouth, James. All right, let's go check things out. <laughs> I think Elizabeth Sturdy accidentally, uh, you know how you can watch the stream. She always, she, she never watches it on time either. She'll go back, she'll, she'll be like watching it back when the stream first started. And she might have bumped the uh, slow time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways, that's what I think happened with her. All right, let's get that. Let's try this one. I keep messing with this one. Let's try this one. They both do the same thing. This one's just uh, a little lighter. Oh, and it makes 125s. Yeah, that shouldn't matter, but we'll get that one anyway. All right, silage additive tank. That shouldn't matter. Look, that's optional. You don't even have to have an additive tank. I'm not even going to put one on there. It's, you don't even need it. All right, wrapper design, bale with Turner, blah, blah, blah. Lease, yes. All right. There she is. You think it's going to work? Yeah. 
You think it's going to work? Uh, let's see. We got Kevin Flores coming in with the $10 super chat. Says, Frosty, who do you want to win March Madness? I don't even know who's in it. Did you and your son play hoops today? He didn't. He, he, he hurt. His knee's been bothering him, so he hasn't been playing the last few days. But I did. Yesterday and today, I played for about an hour just shooting around, getting my little workout in. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Uh, was spring break last week for the kids? No. I don't know when their spring break is, but it hasn't happened yet. When are you coming west, young man? When am I coming west? I don't know. I'm not sure. Frosty, that's not nice. Had a streamer mute himself and game. Had a mod tell everyone turned up volume. Then he unmuted and blasted our ears. That wasn't that wasn't very nice. <laughs> I I wouldn't do that. It's too much work to have to do all that anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. That's rude. Who who was it? Is it somebody I know? That's funny. But it is rude. Very rude. All right, so. I'm not going to fire it up yet. It's unfolded, though. Uh, we're going to fill this with TMR. All right, we got TMR in there. Let's see if we have better luck this time. Thank you, Kevin, for the $10 super chat, brother. Appreciate you. Just went from TMR to Hay with no issues using Easy Dev. There you go. Merry Christmas to you, sir. I am not having the same luck you are having, all right? So rub it in a little more, why don't you? All right, TMR going in. All right, it didn't give us the pesky little 12 liters. Now let's see what happens when we turn it on. This time it did 17 liters. Something, it, something's jacked up. Something's jacked up. Yep, something's messed up. Same thing, chat. But this time it went from 12 to 17. So 17 liters, and it just won't do it. So I don't know. I, I really don't. I have no idea. Alright. Turn that. Just get another one and uh, just stick to grass, I guess, since nothing else is working. It could, it could be the map. Maybe it's the map. Ashton Corners. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm tired of messing with it now. I'm just gonna hook up to it and we'll do grass. Try a different one, different one this time. That's why the 17 liter. What? Try a different one? What do you mean try a different one? What do you mean? What do you mean try a different one? 17 liters, it's it's throwing something off. Something's broken. It's It's, I don't know what's broken, but what do you mean try a different one? It put 17 liters in there and it won't make the bail. It's almost like it's, I don't, I don't know what it's doing, but we, we had zero problems with grass. So I'm going to get this unfolded and if grass works, then at least that works, right? What's your favorite shot to take in basketball? Lay up, jump, three-pointers. I love shooting the three ball. Have a good one, Dan. This DLC is a bit of a letdown. I, I don't, I wouldn't say that. Don't, 
don't judge it by me. I know other guys have been streaming it and having zero problems. It's it's probably something I'm doing wrong. It could be a mod conflict. I use a crap load of mods, so it could be it's something on my end, I'm sure. Yeah, there's I've I've been watching other guys and they've had Argsy, he had no problems. Uh, I think FS Club, he didn't have any problems. So it's most likely a mod conflict on my end. Was pointing out the fact that 12 liters was the other one you one you tried. I'm so confused. Frosty Curry, yeah, see and I, I don't know what you guys are talking about with the uh, try another one. I don't know what you mean. Uh, Steerman put me right and you are now back on normal speed. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you had me on slow motion. That is hilarious. So she, so yeah, things were probably a little extra slow on slow motion. That's funny. Ah, Elizabeth, you crack me up. You're a funny lad. A lot of, you're a funny lot of. But yeah, hopefully, uh, whatever's going on, it stops doing it on other maps. The multiplayer map, we don't use a lot of mods. This map has, you gotta remember, Ashton Corners has all kinds of different stuff going on on it. It's it's a very different map from the base game maps. But I don't know. Just stay now. See if the grass works at least. And if the grass doesn't work, then we definitely broke something. Because we've been doing grass. A little disappointing, but... Yep. Grass is fine. Look at that. That's so weird. <laughs> so grass went through it like nothing. Something's, something's wrong, Chad. I, I just don't know what's wrong. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing wrong. Makes grass bales. Well, that's what Stearman said yesterday. That it doesn't, it didn't work on some maps for other people, and that's probably what it is. It's probably just the map I'm using. So, at least we're able to make all the silage bales. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know what I mean, Burn? Come on. You know that. You know that, right? Come on. Technically, I don't want to make a bunch of these. All right, well, I guess I do want to, yeah. That got me all flabbergasted. I had a feeling we'd run into some type of hiccup tonight. I didn't expect it to go perfect. Hang it. Can you turn off the wrapper? No. No. All you can do is turn on or off automatic drop. See, now it's got 93 liters in the middle trying to form a bale. I don't like that part. So hopefully you'll be able to add different stuff and it not affect that. I don't know. And maybe maybe it is the uh, it might be the uh, power tools mod, like a couple of you were saying, like adding something to a vehicle that might be breaking it. It maybe it has to be naturally brought off the field, like you know what I'm saying. 
But that that could be another one of the reasons it's not working. I don't know. So yeah. Frustrating though. I really wanted to see a TMR bail. I was getting kind of excited. <clears throat> All right, so let's test out the uh, square baler now. We've been messing around with the round one quite a bit. But let's make some square bales. <clears throat> Get this returned. And my square baler... I don't know where the heck I left that at. We'll just we'll just rent one for tonight. Cuz the other one's hiding somewhere. <clears throat> Let's just get a nice square baler. Uh we want to make 180s. All right. Let's get this one here. That's good enough for me. Sure we set the size to 180. It would probably look like a giant marshmallow. Can you take the wrapper off and then try? The wrapper's built in. Try TMR now? No. No, I already did. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm thinking it's... I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to break it again. We'll, we'll keep enjoying it while it works. All right, so let's make a square bale. And then we have an uh, attachment that's in the DLC to wrap the square bales. So you have a, I think there's a pull behind. Uh, I don't think there's a front attachment one. Take a look here. And I set it to 220, of course. 180, there we go. 180. We go. How goes? Oh, don't even ask. Don't even ask them station. How you doing today? <laughs> I'd rather know how your day went than uh, ask, uh, give you an answer to that question. <laughs> Try and make hay and put it in. Try and make hay and put it in. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, we could do that. We could uh, tether a few rows and. So it, that's what it is. Um, it's just an optional way of bailing, pretty much. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to do TMR, uh, sugar beet cut, hay, grass, straw. Go. Oh, that that first bale did turn out as a big one, didn't it? I think so. All right, so now we're gonna get a pool behind that does the square bale. This is part of the DLC as well. Square bales. We'll paint those. We'll do some black bales. There we go. 52 grand. We'll lease it. I'm having the same thing on UMRV and I turned off power tools and it still says 14. If I ever get myself on an EU UK map, I'll definitely be giving it a go. Uh, wrap TMR bales don't make sense in real life. The silage would get the other ingredients moldy. I think there is a three-point wrapper for squares. I used the three-point wrapper on the round. Is there? For the square one? 
It does round. That's three point round. Yeah. Yeah, we already tested that out. You must have been uh, doing your, your chores there, Scooty. Yeah, we used that already. But for these squares, you got pull behind. I think it's the maps that have different TMR mixtures than the base game ones. That, that's probably what it is. I 100% I, I agree with Quadruple A. Because Ashton has all the different stuff. You can put the molasses, the uh, CCM. Uh, yeah, that's probably is what's making it not work. I agree. And UMRV is this... Wait a minute. Holding not allowed while the tool is attached? Ah! What? Folding is not allowed while the tool is... What are you talking about? Unfold wrapper. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this stationary or something? No. Folding is not allowed. What, what are you talking about? I'm so confused. Why would you... So was this one you get in, or what the heck is going on here? Turn on. Oh, so yeah, this is just a stationary. Oh my gosh. I thought you'd get to, like, drive along. That sucks. Yep, you gotta bring the bales over here. My goodness. Keeps getting worse. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's, uh... Get a bale fork here. Bale front loader tools. surprised they didn't throw in a uh, square bale fork for the DLC since they offered the square bales, you know? Yeah, it doesn't matter what I get. I'm, I'm being silly. Uh, we'll just grab that. World Baseball Championship, says Dragon. Eh? How's everyone doing? Night going? What's up, Michael Scott? The question is, how are you? What a mess. I know, RK. <laughs> Needless to say, Frosty is not the best salesman for this new DLC chat. No. Yeah, if you want a review, don't be, don't be watching this to uh, make your decision. That's for sure. Yeah, I didn't realize that was stationary. My goodness. All right, so what you gotta do is go pick up your bale and drive it all the way back over to that thing because it's stationary, it doesn't move. So we gotta bring it all the way over here, drop it in there, okay? That's just how it is. go that's satisfying though I do like that <clears throat> yes you am from the no you're not from the office you're not Michael Scott you're a different Michael Scott can't fool me all right let me see do it so do I need to stand up here unload square bail so you gotta like stand next to it and tell it what to do Interesting. All right, that's, I, I don't like it. I don't like that. Yep, not a fan. I don't like that. 
I'd say the the ba the, the base game one's better than that because you can actually pull it behind you. Why the heck do I want to drive around? I, we need a pull behind one. I don't want a stationary one. Come on. Okay, well, I'm going to bed. Good night. Ah, see? You're sad. You're sad. Because I didn't agree that you're Michael Scott. So now you're going to bed. Get your butt to bed, all right? Eat a, eat a bail while you're at it. Uh, yes, you're from the off. No, he's not. What's up, Paul? Edward Detweiler. How's Mr. Detweiler doing? Yeah, this is the last thing Steve Carell's probably watching right now is Big Rig Frosty. Sorry. I highly doubt he's watching me play Farm Sim. <laughs> this stream has Valley Springs Cedar vibes. You'll, you'll subscribe to me anyway? Ah, that's, that's up to you. But you're not the real Michael Scott. All right, flip this over. Let's see here. The drop area is blocked, so I can't even double stack it, even though that could easily go bloop right on top of that one. Uh, yeah. Too much work. I'll have Fire Slaying operate that. That can be his like permanent job on the 24-7 server. Hitting Y to unload each bale. <laughs> what do you think? Where's all the tier three members? What do you think? Have Fire Slaying, uh, he's the full-time operator of that machine there from now on. Yep. Hey Fire Slaying, you just sit there and uh, every once in a while hit Y and it'll make it flip over, all right? It's like making pancakes. Gotta know when to flip it over so it doesn't get messed up. <clears throat> uh, bye, everyone. See you later. I'm doing good in joint year in Florida. Nice. Everett Oozle coming in with the 499 super chat. Thank you very much, Everett Oozle. But it's probably Uzzle. But it's more fun to say Oozle. Thank you very much, Daddy. I do appreciate that. Let's drop that like it's hot. And that's probably too big. That's the 220 bale, and it doesn't want to make that. It only wants to make the little baby bales. All right, so that was a waste of a bale. Oh, goodness gracious. That bale's just a reject bale. We want to send it back, but it won't let me. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? I don't like this. It's garbage. We're going to return that. But I think we've tested everything, right? What have I not used in the DLC? We tried that. We tried that. We did that. That's the round. That's a round one. I don't want to mess with that. That's probably the same way. Only that looks like you might be able to pull it behind. I don't know. Uh, we tried that. Tried that at the beginning. And we tried We tried everything. We've used it all. We've used all the DLC equipment. And before we shut this one down, let's just, for, for giggles, let's throw a load of hay in. Because hay is hay. And we haven't tried that yet. So let's pretend we picked up a big uh, load of hay. This is for testing purposes only. There it is. All right. <clears throat> uh, is that the Jack Whacker Baylor wrapper? Oh, see? See, the real Michael Scott wouldn't be a, a dingleberry like you're being. And say, I'm going to watch the dancing. That's not what people do. People don't come into other streams to say, I'm going to go watch something else. So, yeah, you're just a dingleberry, but that's okay. People are entitled to be dingleberries. But thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. Thanks. 
Bye. All right, so we're going to drop hay in there. And hook it up. Let's see if oh, it's making hay. Yep, a bale's about to spit out here in a minute. All right, so hay works, grass works. That is our first hay bale. What? I threw hay in there, not grass. <laughs> That's so weird. That is so weird. Okay. That's leftovers from the last one. Okay. Okay. It worked. It worked. Finally, it worked. All right. So it made a hay bale. Hay bales do work. All right. Nice. So if that's the case... Straw should also work. So let's fill that with straw. But we're going to leave it there for a minute till this does its thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got too much bales now. It's working. Justin Abeta, thank you for the $1 super chat. Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate that. Yeah, baby. Have yeah. the same issue on the 24 7 maps as Mr. Stearman. Do you? Is that the Jack Whacker Baylor wrapper? It is, Ian. It's, it's something else. All right. So, A bales are. All right. Ran out of product. So now let's throw straw in because straw is nothing special. That's on every single map. I'm thinking straw is going to work just fine. All right, so there's straw. And it's making a bale. It's gonna fin it's gonna make one more hay bale, I bet. And then it's gonna switch over to straw. So that's what it is. And now it's gonna shoot out a straw bale. Dry wood. How come it didn't wrap it? Because it's hay. You don't wrap hay. So think of this as a machine. That is only really going to be convenient if you like using a forage wagon. I mean, that's pretty much what it is for what I'm doing right now. Yeah, it's only going to wrap things like grass. That's the only thing it's going to wrap is a grass bale. But it'll still make your bales you, you want to use for your straw bedding, your hay bales. It's going to make all that stuff. I want to use all that. Get out of there. All right. But yeah, unfortunately, because of the uh, custom TMR on this map. But that doesn't explain why it won't do sugar beet cut. It should It should do that. Uh, let's try. <clears throat> oh, it's not going to... You know what? We need a different type of trailer. Last... We got another test we got to do here. Sugar beet cut. <laughs> so we're just going to get... Eh, just whatever. A little... Just a little trailer. Uh, let's get this guy. He can hold 8,000 liters. Lease that. Alright. 
Excuse me, man. <clears throat> don't break it again, says Tony. I don't. I don't think sugar beet cut's gonna bother it. Yeah, I think it's gonna do a good job. The sugar beet cut. That's not messed with on this map. <laughs> it's got so much crap everywhere. What's up, Diane? Hello! I'll give you a stinking honka teacher. I'm not putting TMR in it, Scooter. I'm not doing that. That's broken. Don't you love that? I guess I guess if you're not a streamer, you, you don't understand how that's super annoying. When someone comes in and says hi, and then I'm going to go watch this guy, and then says bye. Like, what's the point? Why'd you even come in here, then? Just get out. Just, just don't even talk. Like, I don't do that. I watch tons of people. I don't go in and say, hi. Oh, I got to go. I got to go watch this other guy. Bye. <laughs> like, that's just the dumbest thing to do. And a real Michael Scott would not do that. I don't think the real Michael Scott would do that. He would be very nice. And he'd, uh, he'd and if he didn't like what he saw, he just wouldn't say anything. He'd just leave. So that's how I knew it wasn't the real Michael Scott. All right, so we're going to fill this with sugar beet cut. Uh, got all kinds of stuff on this map. <clears throat> you think it'll make a stone bale if we fill it with stones? Try. No, it's not going to work. Snow bale. We could make a snow bale. Wow. Where the heck is... Uh, there it is. Holy mackerel. All right. Sugar beet cut. Dwight Schrute would do that. You're right. Dwight would. How's Johnny doing? How you doing? Very nice detective work, sir. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Sugar beet cut. It's working! Yes! I think. Ah, it had one more, uh, whatchamacallit, bail in there. Dang it. Come on. Yeah, it didn't want to do the sugar beet cut. Dang it! Ah, we tried. It won't work. Are you? Uh, and that, and that, it's supposed to be a sugar beet cut. Ah, that sticks. All right, so everything worked up until the uh, sugar beet cut. That did not work. It did the old 12 liter glitch thingy. <laughs> Dang it. All right, well, hey. It was a good experiment, right? <laughs> So we did uh, manage to have good luck with the hay, grass, and straw. Hay, grass, and straw, no problems. What's up, Chase Weeble? Tried so hard and got so far. <laughs> Corn stalks won't work. Yeah. That new bale and pallet, pretty good. It allows me to have over bale count on console. All the uh, the loader shed, yes. Ooh, speaking of that, I got bales everywhere. We should throw a darn shed over here. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Yeah, because this is get this is ridiculous. I got bales. They're multiplying. I'm done with this thing. And I'm done with that.
Uh, what else we done with? We're done with this. I think I'm done with this. I leased a bunch of stuff for the show tonight. But we're done using that that uh some most of that equipment. <clears throat> We got bales everywhere. All right. Let's get a little creative here, all right? Let's see here. Let's... Put in a shed. Not very even up here, but we'll make it even. Let's do level. Thunder silos, I think, or is it just under good old sheds? Maybe it's just under sheds. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Oh, I got that sorting mod. Oh crap! It's gonna make it hard to find. <laughs> Eh, what the heck do those things look like? My goodness. Might take me a minute to find it here. It's in here somewhere. Ain't it? Don't forget a she shed for the ladies in the chat. I'm doing all right, Chris Wasalaski. Haven't seen you in a while, Chrissy. How are ya? Hi, Frosty. Love all your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Brian Pasinski. Thank you very much. Uh, that new bale pretty pretty good allows me three hour three hours later. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what it looks like. I totally forget. I don't know if it's, I think it's under silos. Yeah, it's under silos. Dang it. All right. So. <laughs> that music. <laughs> All right, let's smack this right about here where it's nice and level. Get back into landscaping. Smooth this out here. Try to make it look not so crazy. It'll look nice when I'm done. Sort of. Testing out some new equipment. The DLC seems kind of crap. <laughs> it looks very basic, other than that huge bale machine. <sighs> yeah, I'm having. Uh, I'm, I don't. I don't know what to think about it. I don't know. But that's the thing. I, I love using mods like this map. I love this map. I love Ashton Corners and, and the fact that I can't make TMR bales on this map because it's different. That's kind of disappointing, but, you know, Giants, it's not their fault. They make it to work for their stuff, not for everybody else's mods. So, you can't be, you know, I can't be upset. I'm just frustrated. That's all. Just a little bit of frustrations. It's all good, though. All right. 
that's not too bad. Uh, let's see here. Painting. Make it nice and easy to get in and out of over here. We'll even have a driveway leading from over here. Is that Baylor related to Optimus Prime? I think it's sweet, isn't it? The way it unfolds is it is pretty cool. Like a big robot. And I bet you on a map that doesn't have different fruits on it, it probably works fine. Now the Angavin countryside has clover and alfalfa. So I'm wondering if that's gonna cause issues. It's just, it's hard to know. I don't know. one that is. Nope. Oh. Crap. Went into the neighbor's yard a little bit. BC Pro. Love the new bale storage. Have numerous silos. I use Impress 200 Vac Pro. I'll wait a while in season two before I get the new bale. cutoff point for that. Alright. Good enough. paint that. Yeah, it looks dumb. Oh, that's a shadow. <laughs> that's the shadow. Alright. Plants. Whatever. That's done. Whew. Now we're going to get all this stuff cleaned up and put into storage. Looks good, Frosty. Yeah, it'll get the job done, I guess, huh? Xander Williams, thank you for that re-support with the two months. Oh, wrong button. There we go. This one right here. <laughs> thank you, Xander Williams. Two months at Jack Whacker level one. Thank you, Daddy. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh... Dude, he forgets five minutes ago, 25 hour. Oh, me? I hope you're not talking about me. I could never do 24 hours. No way. I'd, I'd lose my mind. 
I would straight up lose my mind. Oh my gosh, what a mess. I made a mess. <laughs> Look at all these bales laying around. <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. So the, the the new bale storage shed, it takes square bales too, right? All, all sizes, because we had an issue on it on multiplayer. I'm going to watch it not take any of them. Be like, I ain't taking these bales. All right. Made me a big old mess. <clears throat> All right, let's go grab the uh, Ford. We got a pickup trip. That'll speed up picking up process. You got an egg hunt of bales. I know they're different sizes, different types. It's gonna be uh, gonna be interesting. I do have crop destruction on, so we will not be cutting through the fields. Gotta go the right way to get there. Dang. Finally get to look at something else other than that field. We've been in that field all night long. All right. Let's start with the pink bales. Auto mode disabled. Not sure what ones it's gonna pick up. So those were the, some of those were the same size. Alrighty then. Works for me. Ah, crap. Which way did those unload? I'm trying to remember. I think they do unload to the left. Unloading area is blocked. Get out of here. Are you gonna... Are you telling me this is true? Oh, my gosh. All right, we got to switch trailers. Goodness, man. So it wouldn't even unload into the zone I needed to go in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I usually don't use auto the, the auto shed on this map. I do everything manually. So that trailer, I'm not selling it because I'll most likely still store bales the way I used to. But we're just gonna lease. Um, we'll lease uh, one of these Rollins. Yeah. There we go. That'll work. Design. We'll just go with that. Auto load, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Keep that trailer and just. Ah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, because that trailer works good for other stuff. Right, and operating position. This isn't going to pick up all the bales. <coughs> I don't think it even picks up square bales. I don't remember.
size at a time. Has anyone in the chat owned a 7.3 power stroke or owned one? Diesels are a nightmare to work on. I've already dumped a lot of money into it, says Chris Waslaska. I have a Kia Soul. Talking to the wrong guy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I was looking for the storage shed from Omatana, but couldn't find it. It had a drop point outside in the front. It's on the Mod Hub, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's on the Mod Hub. <clears throat> and I think it just got an update. Yeah, it should work. Check on the Mod Hub there, driver. I think uh, Pleasant View Farms, he edited just a good old shed, I think. and Or no. I think he just... What did he do? I know he's not here. It's too late. He's probably sleeping. I know he changed the capacity to hold like 500 bales. All right, so some of these blue ones are the same size as the pink ones. Keep on loading them up. Uh, have you thought about doing any bailing tonight? <laughs> You're a funny man, John. Johnny is a funny man with a sense of humor. Oh, look at this. All right, we're full. So a lot of them were the same size. That's good. So this, I like these balers better, or these trailers better, because you use the mouse to uh, lift and move it over to the side where you want to unload. Much more convenient. See, I can just go like that, just drop it in there, and then it stores them all. Isn't that lovely? Won't let me go back in there and look at it, but they all got in there, so that's good. thought those were the same size see that other trailer it'll pick up different sizes too that's pretty sweet love this new dlc i just downloaded love that it allows you to make silage fails. <laughs> pretty exciting huh yeah, I'll get it working doing the other stuff. It'll have to be on a different map, sadly. <clears throat> Silly. Get over there. And load that bad boy up with a lot of bales, though. <clears throat> see uh, if any of these will fit on there almost got this took a lot of, uh, a little while to clean up huh I made a big old mess yep all those are different size <clears throat> I heard that it will do TMR bales too I, I heard I did hear about it. Never got to find out if it works, but I, I heard about it. And I haven't seen anybody make them either, but I, I believe it. Yeah, part of me wanted, part of me was gonna just do like a fresh save on Elm Creek tonight just to test everything. I should have. I bet you everything would have worked fine on Elm Creek. That was, that was my fault for uh, 
using whatchamacallit, Ashton Corners tonight. I messed up. It is under silos. Yeah, yep, I found it. Yep. <clears throat> oh, I... I was here for Ian, just giving fry. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> bales in there. So these, they, they take square bales too, right? I haven't tried it yet. Guess we'll find out here in a second. Couldn't pick that up. That's, a, that's the wrong size back there, so... Good work. Yep. Loaded it up. Twice. All right. <clears throat> so that is a mission accomplished. Almost got everything cleaned up looking halfway decent. That little tractor's such a workhorse. He's been working hard tonight. All right, let's see if the uh, cows over here will just eat this grass bale. <laughs> I should put in sheep, but I, I don't want sheep on this map. Yeah, it's all mainly cows. Can't remember if it takes full bales over here. Or... Yep, sure does. Took the whole bale. All right, so I got rid of my grass. go all right i gotta figure out what i want to do with the rest of that grass Ugh. oh i know what i can do scoop it up and put it in here this is run well, not running low but yeah that's what we'll do we're gonna go scoop up the last of the grass out in the field with this bad boy and then eh, wow i've been live for three hours and 16 minutes all messing around with that stinking uh, DLC baler. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't realize I've been on that long. Wow. Wowzers. So, let's do a little vacuuming. can't believe I messed with it that long. Uh, I will never own an electric car, says Tony. It's been an epic, but 3.45 a.m. here. But yeah, you should get to bed, uh, Dan. 
You should get to bed, sir. <laughs> Thanks for uh, hanging out, buddy. quick 30 percent so this is all directly going into my dryer turn it into hay yeah after all that uh trial and error i really think it comes down to uh the map so please don't feel like that's a bad dlc it works I just, I should have used it on Elm Creek instead of a, a modded map that's heavily modded with the TMR especially. So kind of disappointed I couldn't show you the uh, TMR bales and the sugar beet cut bales. <clears throat> but we will. Eventually we'll get to making those on one of my other maps that I use. A boneless chicken wing is a nugget. Is it? Yeah, we, we had uh, Moe's Southwest Grill for dinner. It was like a... It was for school. So if you ordered the, the family dinner box, like a certain percent of it went to the school or something for my kids. Yeah, yeah it was pretty good. Too shabby. Have a good one, Diane. Thanks for uh, hanging out. <clears throat> I got a sneeze. I can feel it. Oh, it's right there. Right there, guys. Right there. Oh, it's right there. Whew. Good thing, though, allergies haven't been as bad. <clears throat> Starting to get a little better. Less pollen, so... Haven't been feeling as crappy as I was. Oh, she's... Oof. Sneeze already. There she is. <clears throat> there it is. <clears throat> All right. A little piece right here. All right. We're at 93%. We're just going to go uh, unload <clears throat> and then pick up those last two swaps. Did I tell you guys I, I made a dog, or not a dog, a uh, cat, a cat door in the laundry door? Did I, t did I mention that yesterday? Yeah, uh, that was interesting. I don't have a jigsaw, so it was, <laughs> it was interesting. Because, of course, uh, Miss Frosty picked out one that's round with cat ears. So, yeah, that was interesting. I, I used a circular saw to start it. <laughs> and then I switched over to a hacksaw. You know, the big square ones, because that's all I had. And then I went into, like, uh, chopping. I just started chopping at it with, like, a hammer. It, 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 got, it got a little ugly. But the end result was it, it turned out pretty nice. Yeah, a jigsaw would have definitely 
help the situation. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's round. It's got little cat ears. And it's right at the bottom center of the door. So now the cats can just go in and out of the, the laundry room. Have a good one, Grant. Uh, did you ever get your dishwasher fixed? Yes, I, I fixed it this morning. It was the little... The little... Uh, the dishwasher hose that goes into the garbage disposal. On the new disposal, the uh, cap wasn't cleared out. I, I can't talk. I'm getting tired. The little cap in the pipe was, uh, it hadn't been knocked out. So I knocked it out and now it's, everything's fine. So that's what it was. It wasn't, it didn't have any, the water in the dishwasher didn't have anywhere to drain because the hole was not open in the hose. Yeah, you live and you learn, eh? This is the first time I ever had to change one, so I didn't know. Would you guys help me? Because of you all, I didn't go buy a brand new dishwasher <laughs> because it was a simple fix. So thank you very much for all who uh, helped uh, explain how to fix that. I appreciate that. I made a post because I was so thankful for uh, everybody helping out. Because who wants to buy a new dishwasher? A lot. Uh, I would have. If I wouldn't have figured that out, I would have had to. I would have thought it was broken and I needed a new dishwasher. <laughs> I would have just got rid of the cats. Don't tell Miss Frosty that. But yeah, the, the reason for the cat, the little cat door is to cut back on the smell of cat pee. Because the litter box is in the laundry room. It's just the best place to have it for us. And uh, yeah, sometimes you can smell it in the hallway upstairs. So like, let's get a little cat door cut back on the stench <laughs> and I clean it every day cats we got two cats so it's double the fun all it takes is them going to pee in the litter once and they're they're sloppy cats they don't cover it up they'll take a dump and just walk away they'll just be sitting there they don't cover it up to cover up the smell they're, they're, they're little pigs they might look cute but they're just a bunch of pigs It's all good. It's past your bedtime. You're not a young buck. I know. It is getting a little late. Uh, we got uh, Jacob Nunkster. Cheers to the next 12. Mr. Nunkster hitting the one year anniversary. One year for Jacob Nunkster. And he's Jack Whacker level three, by the way. That's been a long time you've been supporting that level three. Thank you so much, brother. And then he also comes in with the 10 gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming memberships. 10! All right, let's see who all got one. We got Watchdog33, David Turbill, David Morris, Floyd Stutengear, Phil Damone, David McWaters, Alan Williams, Sean Briley, Joey Trevette, and Cody Fricks. All 10 of them getting gifted memberships from Jacob Nunkstia, who uh, last time he mentioned, he's given like over 200 gifted subs uh, over the last year. Crazy. So uh, thanks for all the support, brother. I do appreciate you. <clears throat> good night, Justin Nabaita. Have a good one. Yeah, I'm about out of here myself, guys. That was enough uh, DLC preview for me. <laughs> I'll use it again, but it's, yeah. I think we got our fill on how it all works, sort of, the parts that did work. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. <clears throat> There's Phil. There he is. All right. That's all done. Oh, by the way, what I just did... The thing I've been filling up is a hay dryer. I'll just show you. It's this guy right here. 
and let's activate it. <clears throat> so it already has 180 in it from tons of grass we cut on other streams. Uh, we just put 50,000 liters in it. So that's another 50 that will be converted into hay. Very nice. Got a crap load of bales in there. Lovely. I'd say we worked. We did pretty good tonight. I got bales sitting over here. Got bales everywhere. gonna do it for me chat let me just take a look at how many bales we got in here 65 so all that messing around tonight bales we made 65 bales all together 65 bales be shabby owls are angry There we go. That's that big section we cleared, and we put in a little shed there. Yeah, it's looking quite splendid, eh? Uh, thank you, Mouse. Thanks for hanging out, brother. Great. Thanks, Watchdog. Appreciate you, man. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out, chat. Not gonna wash the equipment tonight. Nah, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. I'm heading out. That DLC kind of got me, got me a little frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else frustrated with that DLC? <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'll try to stay away from that stuff tomorrow night. I think I will, for sure. Tomorrow night, we'll be back to, you know, just not that. So, look how pretty that looks. I think that's sorghum. That bright green. Mm-hmm. Pretty. Got lots of corn growing over here, sorghum in between, the grass, and uh, oats. We got oats way out there, sunflower up on the hill, all kinds of stuff. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Have a good one, Tony Martig. Uh, Robert Spink, have a good one. They're just angry because they wanted to check out a TMR bale. Have a good, I, I wish I, I wanted to see one too. I wanted to see one too. Thank you, Duane. Have a good one, buddy. Quadruple A. Peace out, brother. Mickey Trimmer. Good night. Mickey got his t-shirt, too. You should post a picture of it. Uh, Jarvis. What's up, Jarvis? Says hi, bye. See you later, brother. Outlaws to see you, Frosty and chat. Have a good night or afternoon. You as well. And for all the Tier 3 members, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll talk about whether we want to have that DLC activated or not. I don't know. I don't know if we need it, you know. But I'll see what you guys think. All right, chat, that's going to do it for me. Hit that like button on the way out if you haven't. We did break 200 reactions tonight. I do appreciate you. I uh, hope you guys have a splendid evening and a good Wednesday. All right, we'll catch you tomorrow at our normal time around 8.30 p.m. Eastern. All right, have a splendid one. Catch you guys later. Peace out, Mike. Peace out.